Starbucks. Uh, this is, I think, the September one. There we go. So excited. Different setting for today. Open, open, open. Staker. What is this? This is C V. That's a lot of V's. Uh, v V V watercolor sheets. I think. Are <laughs> these are just like really intense watercolor on sheets of paper? It's a new way to like travel with watercolor. Ooh. Oh, that didn't offset well. Mm. Ooh, Jolly Rancher. Blue, my favorite color, and candy. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. This is the Pinto Orins mechanical pencil. One click anti breaking system with unique lead sleeve that reacts as the lead wears down. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So cute. There you go. It is the Milan Round Synthetic Brush 611. Round 4, I guess. Yeah, that's right. It's all it says a Windsor Newton Fineliner. Point eight. Oh, this is cute. It's a little postcard. Oh, that's adorable. Yes, I agree. Somebody painted it. There it is. Our little featured artist. And last but not least. Two sheets of watercolor. This is why I thought this was coming in later, because they said they accidentally put two when they meant one. Let's see the what's it called? Bocking Ford watercolor, 300 GSM. So it's nice on thick. And look at that teeth. Ooh, is my with pure materials and meets archival standards. The theme is feeling. Buggy. Let's get started. Hey guys. So, this this video taken a very long time. <laughs> um, as you've seen, it is September video. Supposed to be started. And ended up being a January video. The following year. <laughs> um, but yeah, middle of a move, October... A lot of stuff kind of got pushed back. <laughs> but I have a new office now. So definitely going to try to take advantage of that. Because I actually have room now. I'll do a studio tour maybe one of these days. Um, still a work in progress. But I can at least get work done though. <laughs> this was a, a fun box. And you know... I started and then I started back up like two months later, almost three, <laughs> probably three, closer to three. Yeah. Anyways, and it just kind of made me realize how not painting for a while <laughs> can like really mess you up um, and like dropping habits, forgetting habits, just forgetting things in general. <laughs> um definitely definitely a good box like the colors were really vivid I had trouble not picking them up like all the time <laughs> uh there uh but that was also part me forgetting to let it dry for longer forgetting I had a blow dryer for such impatient incidents but 
I always try to like tease what's ever in the box and then go from there, you know, testing all the materials. You know, the pen said water resistant, so I was like, mm hmm. But it, it seemed to do good with just like a once over and some rubbing. Anyways, <laughs> so I sketched it and then I didn't really start working on it and like I started in September, did a bit of it, I think in November, but I didn't really finish it until January. <laughs> it was a journey to say in the least, uh, but a fun one. <laughs> I haven't tried watercolor, um, like travel ones that are like this, like on paper, um, just cause like I started to notice the problem that a lot of them have in, in that they start to beat up like the paper underneath them. But that's why I was like, okay, try not working on the same spot, <laughs> but it probably wasn't the best like step back into watercolors just because it dried a lot faster than I expected because um, you know the palette needs to dry so you can close it back up and get going because I always like was wondering how these palettes work when you're wetting them but they're traveling but you need them to dry so that you can travel with them so now I know they dry really fast <laughs> and the paper was so nice to me because I was so mean to it. I kept re-sketching and redoing and I hate the sketch. It was like, this this whole piece, I was just kept trying to push through it because I was just like moving and Inktober and boxes just piling up because I haven't finished the previous scrawler box. So I can't really work on the next scrawler box. And <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to push through this, get it behind me and go, you know what? another time I will do better with these materials um especially because the palette palette was like really intense and bright colors and it's like I kind of feel like uh well yeah I did I just this kind of at first I had like this whole plan and it was gonna look so nice and then I got caught up and work not working working moving unpacking cleaning holidays <laughs> uh, it's just so much so very much but I've have this beautiful office that I've always wanted and I'm slowly like getting all the pieces into place and you know I just want to show my art some love and try to get some projects out of the way so that I can make way for new goals for this year like let me just finish up what I plan to finish last year just so, cause you know, it's like, you know, it's gonna bother you. If you don't, if you don't do it, it's just gonna linger there. So I just want to finish up some challenges that I had planned originally finish by the end of December, but then I got like super sick for like half of December and then on the recover for the other half of December. So it was, it was a fun December for me also. Did not get much work done then either. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. The end of last year was intense, but the this year is hopefully looking on the bright end <laughs> of things. Um, yeah, art, it's hard. <laughs> Anyways, I definitely love doing this crawler box. It's like a nice little... It's just nice. It's nice. I like I like the scrawler boxes because it's like a challenge, but a fun one in that, you know, they give you everything you need. So you just have to use the materials and have fun with them. You know, I definitely did some experimenting like with with painting. You'll you'll see what I mean when I'm I was trying to go for this cool kind of effect for the black polka dot because I was like regular old dots nah let's 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 try doing something new <laughs> and you know the great thing about these materials and scrawler blocks is that you get to try new things and you get to experiment and that's always the best part of art you know even if it ends up being trash and you're just like wow that's a dumpster fire let's do it again <laughs> it's just this excitement of like okay then not go how i expected it but uh, let's do it again, right? Let's try it again. 
it's it's really fun because you know um you have your favorite materials so you don't have to really worry about because you know you worry when you have like your favorite things or expensive things like oh i don't i don't want to ruin them i don't want to use them up too quickly um although that you know the worries because sometimes um with with things we hold so much value in them that it's hard for us to even touch them let alone use them and you know the great thing about scrawler blocks is you know you just get this whole little box to play with and you don't really have to worry about it you know it's something that you've used before like watercolors or it's something you've never used before like oil paints like i was really surprised that there was water based oil paint <laughs> um well water soluble well anyways it's it was a nice way to relax and have some fun and just be like okay that that went south oh well <laughs> it's like maybe i'll just redraw her one of these days or you know what? at least i learned something from this like be patient you know because i hadn't painted in a while and who knew, right? Like, you just forget so much if you don't do something on the regular. <sighs> Memory. Anyways, it it was still fun, and it was still intense. <laughs> um, but it, it does make me excited to get back into watercolors and, like, trying out stuff again and remembering I own a blow dryer. Use it. <laughs> uh stressful life as always but then it wouldn't be life if it wasn't stressful maybe maybe a little less stress this year hopefully i could that'd be nice but can't ask for no stress just stress you can deal with handle hopefully not go through alone um, but yeah <laughs> back to art <laughs> uh, definitely have plans to finish all those scrawler boxes because I accidentally didn't order the October box <laughs> but I'm kind of okay with that having been my skip box a little sad about the enamel pin but mm, I'm kind of okay with that having more Copics in my life just because um they're expensive and I already have a bunch of purple Copics so I was kind of like eh because the Copics I do have are like a couple blues and a couple purples from like trying to get on the bandwagon of um, their monthly color challenge. But I realize I just I can't afford that. spending like 20 bucks a month for like three Copics. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, where was it? Oh, yeah, so I have. Two more scroller boxes to catch up on before January comes in. Lucky for me, I'm in the States, so it takes until the end of the month for me to get mine. So yeah, hopefully I will finish these two by then. We'll see. I'm maybe being a bit a a a a a ambitious. <laughs> me and my stutter. Anyways. And, you know, hopefully this will be another fun year of scroller boxes because it's like... Wow, I've been, I've been doing this for a while now. You know, I've done this for now almost over a year. You know, I I started like halfway a year and a few months ago, and it's it's interesting to be starting another year with scrawler boxes. Um, I remember getting my January box last year, and it was just so fun. Like thinking, oh, this is gonna be my first year where I do a whole year of scrawler boxes. Accidentally miss a box because card problems. <laughs> Anyways, because <laughs> you know, <sighs> changing addresses is so frustrating. Anyways, <laughs> excited for a new year of scrawler boxes. Excited to catch up on my scrawler boxes, my new office more art new art all that sweet jazz <laughs> and yeah having a lot more fun with my art because you know i i was once confined to one room and now i have 
this whole house to just spread out in and a whole room to have a studio in and it's 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 definitely weird because yeah getting older m moving <laughs> uh it it was a fun piece overall. I, I drew her too big and then she was kind of off center for like the page and it was just so many problems for getting to let it dry long enough. Um, picking up color because like I was trying to re-wet it to get a more intense black because it was too dry. Because <laughs> the paint dried faster than I was used to or could remember really. Picking it up and then doing it wrong and just uh, it was like a sinking ship I even like forgot to line the frills at the bottom I was just like oh my god it was intense like a turtle struggle but luckily I pushed through it I was like okay this this is not gonna win any awards but bad art leads the way to good art and if I learned something from this Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> Cause yeah, I just, I was just like, okay, that's bad. But it, you know, wasn't, wasn't too bad. You can still tell that she's a girl and you know, she's wearing a dress. So <laughs> all well. <laughs> and yeah. I kept like holding it down because I was like, I didn't want to tape it down because I like taping down my watercolor. But once again, it was that whole like thing in my head. Only use what's in the box, you know, because <sighs> me and my head constantly like an internal struggle. It's like use only what's in the box, use a little bit of like the eraser because I was like, OK, I erase this whole thing with that mechanical pencils eraser. That thing's gonna be dead in like moments. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was still fun playing with the colors and like trying to figure out what I wanted to draw at first. Cause it was like feeling buggy and I was like, okay, what am I gonna draw that's a bug? And somehow in my thought process, I thought of a cute like ladybug witch. Probably because I'm, you know, a fan of Miraculous, but, <laughs> oh well. Either way, I, I struggled and then remembered that there was a palette, cause like, I sort of remembered going through the box and remembering everything. I should have probably looked it over once more before I like got back into it like a couple months later. Um, I forgot there was a palette in the, in the palette. <laughs> Um, and that I should probably have like a little pool of the color on the side and stop ripping up the color pages because I'm like wiping this one spot on there constantly. <laughs> uh, it's like it's only it's it's like it has its downfalls, but it also it doesn't help if you kind of don't help it because you know. Yeah, two-way street. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Self-reflection. Always, always a great feeling to have when you look at a piece and you're just like, I tried. I could have done better. Probably should have redone it. <laughs> but it, I tried. Because, yeah. yeah, definitely like the color consistencies all over the place. and But I definitely... Like this is my new favorite brush. I used it during Inktober as well, which is why the brown brush bristles turned black because of all the ink. So surprise. <laughs> um, I always love how Scrawlerbox introduces me to new materials that suddenly become some of my favorite materials or even when they send me like more of my favorite materials and like help me broaden what I know about this material, what I can do with this material, you know? Because with this experimenting and stuff, I learned that I need to remember to forth to have some sort of forethought <laughs> about my work. And that's definitely something I always struggle with. Also pushing through 
is sometimes a good and bad thing. Because it's like, oh, it's just a little trash fire. It's fine. And then it turns into a dumpster fire. And then you're just like, okay, I may have gone the wrong route about this. Yeah, just, just a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, as long as you have fun. I, I don't think you can really go too sideways with art. You can always just label abstract and then go with it. <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible joke. Um, but yeah, it was fun in the end. That's all that really matters. Yeah, I try to do a cute background, but like I said, I she filled up too much of the page, so I couldn't really get a nice like white border around her. <laughs> uh, but still fun still fun <laughs> yeah it was just it, it was i've like painted the white of her eyes and then went dang it dang it dang it dang it <laughs> yeah there there was some struggling there definitely some struggling but i was still excited to eh, try again you know I, I didn't get too discouraged even when as you can see i would accidentally pick up color from another area and just go, why? I know why, but still. Either way, <laughs> I learned things from this. I tried and I had fun and I want to try again. And that's all that really matters. Also that I'll continue to subscribe to Scrawlerbox probably also matters. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this weird little rant and slash review slash unboxing for the past like 20 minutes <laughs> and i hope to see you guys soon again you know and i hope you guys had fun watching this you know like comment subscribe whatever you guys feel like and i'll see you soon bye